My name is Linda Smith and I am the city manager for the city of Dublin and in that role I oversee all city operations. My name is Dustin Steen, um, I'm the recreation supervisor for the city of Dublin. Uh, the Wave is a Dublin owned and ran water park, swim school and aquatic competition center. I am Shelby Perry and I'm the recreation coordinator for Parks and Community Services and I work at Heritage Park and Museums. My name is Henry Sue. I'm a recreation coordinator for the City of Dublin. I'm the Senior Center Director. Uh, I manage all operations here uh, including staffing, our meal programs, our senior recreation activities, trips and travel, um, and other various duties. Well, I found out about Futures Explored from one of my uh, old friends, Carolyn Zalewski and we thought the next best step was to have our staff meet with representatives of Futures Explored and really talk about what are the objectives for Futures Explored in helping the, the young adults get that job experience and then how does that relate to what we need as a city in terms of service support for our community. Um, oftentimes um, different agencies or employers haven't worked a lot with people with disabilities and so we also provide a training where we can come into your staff and actually do a training that just kind of reduces maybe some, you know, unknown. Futures Explored first came about, got on the radar maybe four to five months ago, I would say, um, and just exploring the option of having uh, adults with developmental disabilities come join us working here and being part of our community. Uh, we thought it was a great idea, it was a great way for my part-time staff who are typically, you know, high school, college, and some adults who work here to develop their leadership skills and to be able to mentor someone and they're all part of our community as well. And it also exposes our seniors and our staff to diversity and inclusion um, and making it uh, a great place for everyone to be at. One day, uh, City Hall calls. Uh, one of the managers over there and he goes, hey, um, we're working on a grant to be able to create opportunities for individuals with disabilities to be able to employ them and the WAVE would be a great opportunity for that and what we want to do is we want to hold a tour of the facility with some of their coordinators and organizers to be able to identify how uh, this program might fit in here at the facility. From there it just kind of turned over, all right, I think this would be a fit. Um, and when the grant was awarded and, and uh, we knew the program was a go, we started conducting the interviews um, from applicants and um, getting them hired on and getting them trained and getting it implemented. So this program was presented to all the um, full-time staff at a meeting, um, just saying that's a possibility, do we have any positions open. Um, I know for Heritage Park we have a lot of uh, shifts that are just greeting visitors and doing day-to-day -day tasks, that's mainly what um, the shifts consist of. Um, and I definitely had openings, Heritage Park is just picking back up, so to get people over here, any staff would be great. When it's fully in effect, that's when we started meeting with our manager and he told us kind of where to look for who's interested in what. Um, reached out to some of the participants, scheduled an interview, um, and that's how we got involved with the program. My role on those specifics, they were included, be able to establish the initial relationship or partnership with the city of Dublin, be able to let them know this is what we're planning to do, including a deep insight about the job coaching support, what will be included. So we actually have department meetings every month. Um, our supervisor in our department meeting let us know about the Futures Explored program, um, what the opportunities were. Um, he created a list for us of different people with their different um, uh, interests, where they were interested in working, since we do have so many different facilities um, within Dublin. Um, you know, someone might want to work at the WAVE, someone might want to work here at the Senior Center, someone might be more comfortable at the Community Center. So um, they kind of had their special interests on there, and then we were able to look at those and say, you know, this person's interested in working at the Senior Center, let's go ahead and meet with them and see if they'd be a good fit. Uh, my name is Noah, and I work at the Dublin Senior Center. I think he's really learned here while he's been here. Um, I think he's gotten a little bit more comfortable um, while he's been here and he now comes in, we created a list for him of things, of duties, um, kind of with a little bit of a timeline. Um, and I was hoping that was something that he was comfortable with. Um, and it is, it's been working out really, really well. Um, so when he comes in, he automatically looks at his list and he is able to go through it himself. Um, and then he'll come back to me, you know, and let me know if he needs 
needs anything else or if he has extra time, which has been really great. But I think the progression since he's been here, um, he's gotten a little bit more comfortable in that and been able to start things on his own and do things on his own. I, right now I organize books in the, in the library and I sanitize the door handles and I, 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 I clean the, and I put the trash and throw it away. There's been some fantastic little moments from them develop, seeing actual progression and them developing skills and customer service skills and um, organization skills and um, building initiative and um, taking on responsibility and seeing their comfort from the first start to the end. It's been a very rewarding process. I think it's helped the culture a lot. We, we focus on an overall team philosophy here and uh, to see um, a lot of our team members help them through that process of coming on board um, is great. With Future Export, it's been really great. Uh, we have them as rec aides, so they're at the front desk a lot. The experience, it's, to me, it's just been like any kind of other hiring experience. It's been really great and it's actually been beneficial because having just an extra person on staff has been great. My name is Kush Balji, everyone, and I work at uh, Dublin Heritage Parks and Museums. Kush is really great. It's been easy. It's just been way more help having someone else to provide, you know, even more customer service to everyone. So I really like this program and the experience so far that we've had. I would say that having a job coach has been no burden at all. There took no additional effort from us. We just had to make sure Heather also had a chair at the front desk and that was as much of a burden for us as anything. So. Well, I think that the program and the partnership that we have with Futures Explored is going really well. We have, I know, a handful of young adults who are working with us now who probably absent the opportunity with Futures Explored wouldn't be employed. And so for us, that's a really big win. This one came on quick. It came on fast. Um, and yes, we, we identified um, opportunities for them, but I knew that there was gonna be a figuring out process of how each individual themselves um, were to fit into the operations here. Something that might be better is finding maybe that downtime where um, some uh, different facilities or cities are seeking more staff. I know ours got presented to us, I think, after a big hiring push. And so we, we absolutely probably could have managed even more than we have, um, but it was right after the push. So I think that would be maybe the only challenge is, is yeah, just whenever that hiring is actually taking place. I think one of the challenges was to get our other part-time staff on board. They felt that it may have been, it may slow them down. But what I've seen is that they really take pride, the part-time staff who have already been working here, to be able to train and mentor someone else up to be able to do their job as well. Um, and it gives them opportunity to be a leader, uh, to be a mentor, and to be able to teach people something that they are good at. Um, it develops a sense of pride, and you know, it builds confidence for both the employee and for the Futures Exploring participant. 